I'm Lord DIY, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to revamp and refresh your entryway. First impressions can kind of be everything. So we wanna make sure that your entryway is practical and also looks great. Let's do it. Welcome to our entryway. I know as soon as I get home, everything that's in my hands immediately gets tossed to the side on the console table, purse, keys, sunglasses. It's not a space that I've really given a lot of thought to, and today we are going to change that. First things first, now is a great opportunity to remove anything you feel is cluttering the space, and we're gonna grab some dimensions. I'm gonna start by grabbing the length and width up here of this main area, and then also the height of this main wall here. The overall width of the space of the wall that I wanna decorate is gonna match the same width as the ground here, so no need to grab that measurement twice. I'm also gonna grab dimensions of the door and also the height between the ground and the bottom of the door. Okay, so let's get started on our gallery wall. I like immediately to take my frames to the ground and start laying everything out. Okay, so we've got three different frame sizes here, a small, a medium, and a large. And I like to start with the large one first, uh, typically in the center. Obviously, you can opt to have complete symmetry, so we could do, you know, two small ones on each side, two medium ones on each side. But you can also build gallery walls that are asymmetrical as long as they feel like they've been built with intention. And there's kind of a focal point. It still feels really great. So let's play around with some of these sizes here. So here's something easy and symmetrical, just three pieces, middle and two sides. Having something like that is great. Again, it's not quite symmetrical, but it still feels balanced. I also love a gallery wall that kind of has a nice flow in size where it decreases. I know the idea of gallery walls can be truly so intimidating, but just have fun with it. Play around with different shapes and different sizes, different orientations, and it's all about just having fun. Okay, we are done, and let's go ahead and get these mounted. I'm gonna be mounting these with some command strips. These are great because they're renter friendly and you're not puncturing any holes into the wall. I'm gonna start with my biggest frame here and work my way around it with the smaller frames. Okay, and the final reveal. It's really cute. I'm so glad that I planned it out first on the ground. I really like the composition and I can't wait to decorate with this palette around it. Next up, let's choose a rug. So I'm definitely looking for something that feels homey, that goes to the color palette of our gallery wall, but also something that fits the size. So here's our first option. I think there's some great matching tones between our gallery wall and this rug, but I'm already seeing the size is gonna be a little bit off. Overall, it's just filling too much of the space here, so I wanna try something a little bit smaller. Okay, next option is a little more narrow. I like overall this width a little better. I think the reds do tie in with a lot of the color that we have going on here, but I don't love this one. Okay, our next option is jute. Um, I love jute rugs. Oh, that is the perfect size. Also, the color and the warmth of this is great. Jute is also a material that is so durable. You can use it indoors and outdoors. It's durable, easy to clean, affordable. It looks great and brings it all together. All right, our gallery wall is done. We've chosen the perfect rug, and now we have to do something about this console table. The goal is to have some kind of decorative tray so you can immediately just naturally place things into. Although I do love the gold hardware on this tray, I think it's just a little bit too similar to the grain of wood in the console. I don't think this is the move for us. I definitely love any kind of woven basket, but this one is a little bit too big. It's almost the entire width of the console table. And we also have jute on the rug, so it's a little bit too similar to have those two textures near each other. I love this marble tray. It's the perfect size, and I think it contrasts really well against the grain of the wood. It's heavy, it's not gonna slide around when you toss your keys in. I think it really ties in with the whites that we have in the frames, and overall, the balance is great here, and this is definitely my top choice. Okay, we've chosen our marble tray. Now let's add some other accents. We've got lots of options to choose from. Candles, diffusers, different plants. 
typically what I like to do is start with taller items on the outsides and shrink down as it comes toward the middle. So something like this is great as kind of a corner piece. And then instead of a candle, I love using diffusers. Obviously these don't need to be lit and they make the home smell great as soon as you walk in. This is a great another little plant here. I like to work in threes and these are all varying levels of height, which I think balances it all out really great. Moving over to this side, having some greenery is always a great idea. I don't necessarily think that we need two plants, but I know we've got some plant lovers. One is great for me. I love using coffee table books as decor. Something a little bit smaller, like notebook size or novel size is great to add a little bit of height to something, kind of like a little platform. I like the width and height of this one. Again, declining in height here. I'm gonna keep this middle portion here empty and clear all of these. All right, console table is feeling good. Let's add our last finishing touch. Okay, the entryway is done. I love the final look. It all ties together beautifully. The color palette is great. I think we've got some great contrasting points on the console. I love the way the gallery wall turned out. It has a great center point and flows outwards. The jute rug is welcoming. We've got the marble tray to easily place your keys, sunglasses, any mail into. Overall, I think it feels like home. Okay, so those are some of my favorite hacks and styling tips to upgrade your entryway on a budget. And some things to remember. Number one, make sure to measure your space so you know what you're working with. Number two, don't shy away from playing with asymmetry in your gallery wall. And number three, your entryway console is a great place to highlight accent items. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see all of your entryway makeovers. Make sure to subscribe to the Target YouTube channel for more episodes and all of the items used will be linked in the description and shoppable online. Bye guys.